Amazon Games has been very busy over the last several years in producing Lord of the Rings content. This week, we got news that they are at it again with the once canceled Lord of the Rings MMO, with some slight changes. Now first, let's get into the backstory of this MMO. All the way back in September of 2018, there was a press release from a then unheard of game studio named Athlon Games, whose parent company was Li Yu Technologies Holding Limited. Now Li Yu had been most known in the gaming space for owning its subsidiary Digital Extremes, the makers of Warframe. Now Athlon Games announced it was partnering with Middle Earth Enterprises, who at the time was owned by the Saul Zantz Company. Together, they would make the new MMO based on specifically the literary works of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. But Athlon Games was an entirely new company that had no previous games produced. After that singular announcement, it was fairly radio silent until nearly a year later in July of 2019. On July 10th of 2019, Athlon Games announced that it would be partnering with Amazon Game Studios to co-develop market, and publish the game for both PC and consoles. Now at this point in time, that's all we knew about the project. There was no timetable, no public proof of concept, nothing. Fast forward another year and a half, well into the pandemic. Here came the beginning of the end of the project. On December 11th of 2020, Li Yu shareholders signed off on a deal that allowed Chinese megacorp Tencent to acquire Liu Technologies Holdings for $1.3 billion. This was a red flag to a lot of Western game players as Tencent has been notorious over the years for having games that are heavily monetized with cash shops and pay to win features. This was going to mean that we were going to potentially see a lot of those features and monetization tactics in the game that we still knew so little about. Four months later, the bottom fell out and the news broke out that the highly anticipated Lord of the Rings MMO had been canceled. There was a lot of speculation as to why this happened, and it would be another few months before Amazon Games VP Christoph Hartmann would confirm that it came down to a disagreement with Tencent. He said in an interview that it seemed both companies were too big to turn around and be partners. He continued that they tried to work things out, but that the discussions dragged on and ultimately Amazon Games decided not to work together. This is what effectively killed the project. The dream was dead. Or was it? For most potential and would-be players, this news was hard to take. Most of us were looking forward to another foray into Middle Earth to adventure and explore the opportunity to play in Middle Earth with a modern game engine, newer systems, and a modern experience. Now let's fast forward again. This time to August 18th of 22. The Saul Zantz company sold a portion of its company to the Swedish company Embracer Group. This became immediately interesting because Embracer Group now owned the rights for a particular partnership with Amazon. Embracer Group now had a vested interest in the success of the Rings of Power show and other Lord of the Rings related projects, including games. After all, Embracer Group is a parent company of a business very much focused around games. What could this mean for the canceled MMO? For that answer, we need to fast forward another nine months. This brings us up to this week's announcement. On Monday, May 15th of 2023, Amazon Games announced they had reached an agreement with Embracer Group and Middle Earth Enterprises to develop and publish a new massively multiplayer online MMO game based on the Lord of the Rings. Now there's a few key takeaways from this announcement and subsequent interview with Christoph Hartmann. The first major takeaway is that Tencent is no longer involved in this game. The partnership is between two companies who are already working heavily in the Lord of the Rings space. The production will be handled by the same development studio that was responsible for New World. Now, New World, like it or not, the Amazon Games Orange County team has done some pretty amazing things with New World. With a host of new content and features, it would be interesting to see what that means for this new Lord of the Rings title, having at least one MMO under their belt now. While it could be just good old fashioned press fluff, they're at least saying the right things about creating the highest quality product, respecting the Lord of the Rings universe, and so on. One of the other key takeaways from this announcement 
is that Amazon Games is still looking to release this on both PC and console. So we could be looking to MMOs like Final Fantasy XIV or Elder Scrolls Online for inspiration on how that might work. Now Hartman also mentions that the existing Lord of the Rings MMO, The Lord of the Rings Online, was particularly impressive that they've kept it going that long, but that with the advancements in technology and the tools available, it's basically going to be like a black and white difference between the two games. He also mentioned that he felt the two games could coexist just fine. Now, the last major takeaway from this announcement and interview is that the focus of the studio is making a good game. If you're looking for every detail to match the books, I would alter your expectations now before you get too disappointed. With the focus of the game being a good game, that may mean that some things may not follow the books exactly or match descriptions. Now, as a 16 year player of the Lord of the Rings Online and just an avid game player, I am perfectly okay with that. If the game doesn't play well, large groups of players aren't gonna be playing it. So I'm willing to sacrifice some accuracy for a fun and performant game. As for details such as the title and the release scheduling, well, that information just is gonna have to wait. As Hartman says, the game will be done when it's done and that he has no rush to bring something to market right now. This is something I can only hope is as true as he says, too many times we have just been burned on games that are not ready and projects that are need more time to cook and develop and flat out release in bad states. But for now, at least, the Lord of the Rings MMO is back in development, and that is an encouraging thought. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.